so for almost my entire life, I mean, the entire time of my life that I can actually remember, I have absolutely hated chocolate. Now when I say that like I hate chocolate, yes, it means all types of chocolate. Like I get this question every time I say this. No, I don't like hot chocolate. I don't like chocolate ice cream. I don't like chocolate cake. I don't like chocolate chip cookies. Like nothing with chocolate in it is even remotely appealing to me. Like I actually hate it. It is my absolute least favorite food which I realize is super weird and probably illegal in like three or four states. It's really hard not liking chocolate. You have no idea what I go through, unless you also hate chocolate. Think about it. Halloween as a kid, what percentage of your candy was non-chocolate? Five, maybe 10 if you're lucky. And the candy that's not chocolate isn't good candy. It's like, the dregs of the bag, the stuff that everyone tries to trade away for anything else, like Laffy Taffy's, Jolly Ranchers. I mean, does anyone actually want those candies? So I actually looked up a list of the top 30 Halloween candies, and there isn't a single non-chocolate one till number 11. And then pretty much the entire bottom 10 are all non-chocolate, except for Milky Way, Milk Duds, and Whoppers, which I mean, do those really count? Anyways, Halloween, depressing holiday. I never got sick from eating too much candy because I hardly had any to eat. Easter, have you ever seen a white chocolate bunny? I haven't, I mean, they probably exist, but like in a, and for every one white chocolate bunny, there's what, 3,000 chocolate bunnies? So yeah, it's pretty tough. Cadbury eggs, never had them. What are those little ones with a toy inside? I waited for my camera to tell me the answer, but uh, it didn't. So I'm gonna have to come up with that answer on myself, by myself, on myself. Yeah, that makes sense, English. I'm good at it. Anyways, I've never had one. I've never had the experience of biting into it and then getting a little toy on the inside. And honestly, it seems like a fun experience and I'm pretty upset about it. Valentine's Day, I can't get chocolates. I mean, roses, do those taste good? No, try munching on a rose, see if it brings you as much joy as a box of chocolates does, doubt it. Ugh, I mean, there's just, there are so many experiences that I am missing out on because I don't like chocolate. Oh, chocolate chip cookies, an American classic. I'm an American, I've never had one. Gosh, I mean, I feel like that's a sin. It's just not right and I need to fix it. But I hate chocolate so much. <sighs> but I like to pride myself on my mental strength and my dedication to goals that I set. So I am setting a goal for myself. I am going to like chocolate. This is probably the most audacious goal I've set in my life. Like they say set attainable goals. This is not realistically attainable and I'm gonna make it happen. I'm tired of not living a full life. Gosh, I need to like chocolate. Just, I, I need to experience it, okay? I just, I have to. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to approach chocolate like it's my favorite thing in the world. I'm gonna pretend that I'm so excited to eat it. Every time I go to eat chocolate, I tell myself that it's the best thing in the world, that I'm excited to eat it. And then even while I'm eating it and I nearly gag because it's the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten in my life, I have to tell myself, mm, yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Wow, what a great food. So glad I'm doing this right now. And if I just keep doing that over and over and over again, eventually I'm gonna believe it and it's gonna be true. So that's my plan. Now you might be thinking, well, Allie, you're 24 and almost a half years old. Why all of a sudden do you think that this is a necessary thing to do to live a full life? I mean, why didn't you maybe try this when you were, I don't know, 10, so that you wouldn't have missed out on 14 years of these experiences? Well, 
The reason is because I always thought it was just too hard to even attempt. Like, it's just hard for me to describe to you how much I actually despise chocolate. And I honestly thought that it was a pipe dream that I would ever like it. But this year, I'm committing to it, and that is because delicious protein bars, built bar. So here we have a mixed box, just full of fun, exciting things. And great options, mint and coconut and peanut butter brownie and double, double chocolate. Raspberry, yeah, it looks incredible. Um, cookies and cream. The only downside of this situation here is that I actually don't like chocolate, um, and all of them are covered in chocolate, but I mean, it's just a, a small hurdle I'll have to deal with. I'm gonna have to train myself to like chocolate is actually what it comes down to. So it'll be one of the biggest endeavors of my entire career. And if I'm able to achieve this, I think I will ascend to God status. It'll be a tough go, but I've got to do it for Belt Bar. I think of all the protein I would be missing out on if I didn't do this. So that's just where we're at. Yeah, there's a, there's a discount code, link in the description. So get these delicious chocolatey bars. I love them already. I just know it's gonna be the first time that I actually ever enjoy chocolate in my life. So it's gonna be life changing for me and it can be life changing for you. All you have to do is just click that link below, get yourself some Built Bars, yeah. Ah, Built Bars, feeling good about it already. Everyone that I've talked to says that these are absolutely delicious. <laughs> just tastes like candy more chocolate is really good mm, so know. consistency is good soft mm. there's 19, 19 grams of protein mm. too. it's pretty good okay this yeah. is candy this is really good actually mm. should I try another one <laughs> <laughs> great idea for me and I'm super stoked about it and like I'm excited that I'm telling you about it and that I'm gonna hold myself accountable and make sure that I actually do this and I'm gonna be making update videos and I'm gonna take you on this journey with me and if you have a food that you don't like that's holding you back from having a full life I mean come on this journey with me it'll be interesting I woke up today motivated, ready to chase my dreams. So here we are. We've got a built bar. I'm going to try this and I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love every part about it. I'm actually just nervous. <sighs> I have to keep a positive attitude. It's key. It is key. Chocolate is the best way to start your day. Remember that. So good. Round two of I love chocolate. I love this. I love it so much. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. really glad I'm doing this, but it's just not that fun in the moment. To show I'm very dedicated to this journey, I'm going to be giving myself a real challenge and trying the double chocolate built bar. If there is anything in the world more chocolatey than this, please comment down below. I will try it in the next video. Here it is. Just eat it, just eat I it. I need to talk about it more and work up the courage, okay? I'm just, I caught a whiff of it and now I need to take a little break. Anyways, I'm gonna take a bite of this and I'm gonna love it. It's gonna. It's 
It's gonna be great. That is such a pitiful bite. <laughs> That's what you call a bite. So good. Built Bar. Link in description. <laughs> Buy yourself some. Delicious. They are delicious. <laughs> to me. He I'll actually does love them though. It tastes like candy. He won't stop eating it. They're mine. He won't let me <laughs> have them. I was trying to eat that whole bar. <laughs> That's a polite way to chew, right? I'm gonna turn off the video now. <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, Bill Bar. I don't know if you've heard of them, but link in description. Use my code and get a discount, yeah. I didn't know when this day would come for me that I would begin to try to like chocolate, but now that it has, I just, I feel like this is a really pivotal moment in my life, and I'm glad that I have this box of Bill Bars to hold with me through the journey. Link in description.